Hello everyone, it's Winona. I hope everyone's having a good day. I think we're finally out of the super chilly weather. It was minus 40 here for a few days with the wind chill. Pretty cold. Anyway, I would like to introduce you to my Etsy shop, um, Dairy Barn Art. And it's all one word. And um, I have had a few things up there for a while, but I have done my first digital kits. So I thought I would show you what's in my Etsy shop and also my digis. So first off, I'll start with the upholstery samples kits that I have. Um, I'll put these to the side. So each sample kit right now has leather included in it. This one looks like it has two pieces of the larger leather and that's um, 13 by 9 inches I believe. So it makes a nice journal cover. Um, you can fold it over, there's holes in it, but that's within that inch. You could trim it off if you wanted to, or you could put a eyelid in there and um, dangle something from it. But it's real nice um, leather. It's very soft, soft leather. Some of it isn't quite as soft, but this is very soft. And almost this is almost like a suede finish on this one. And then this piece is more textured. It's pebbles. And each kit is different. And each kit is priced according to what is in it. They're very reasonably priced. Um, the shipping, unfortunately, is, is high on them. But I haven't taken one to the post office yet to see what the actual shipping is. I'm using Etsy's shipping rate. So if you were to purchase a kit... Um, and there was more than two dollars difference in what you're paying for shipping and what it actually costs for shipping i will definitely refund the difference then each kit also has oh maybe that's why that kit had two big pieces because there's no smaller piece most kits have a smaller piece of leather that would be nice for a little traveler's notebook or if you were to reduce the size of your digi now with these, if you wanted them really soft and pliable, you could just um, glue fabric on the inside and use that as your cover, or you could just simply leave this, peel this la label off, and leave this nice texture. If you wanted more firmness to it, just give me a second here. Um, you could definitely, this is a nine by 12 envelope. You could definitely glue it on there. And then that would give you more um this must be a little bit bigger envelope that would give you more um stability on your cover but a soft floppy cover is kind of nice too so anyway that's what's in this kit this is not leather this is faux leather but again nice cover gives you an opportunity to hang a few things if you want you could all it gives you an awesome closure too that you could um loop through and tie your bow there then each kit contains some samples, and they vary in size, and, and they vary in how many are in each kit. And some are the right size for a journal cover, or close to it, and some aren't. They all have the paper on the back still, depending on what you're going to use them for. I found if I used a steam iron, and I steamed it really hard and then pulled, it pulled off really nicely. But truthfully, if you're using this for a cover, you don't need to take the paper off. Or if you're using it to make snippets, I would just use a pinking shear and cut squares out of this. And that paper on the back just adds a little bit extra stability on your little snippets. You could make um, fabric flips with them as well. And if you don't want to take the back paper off, just glue another piece of fabric or glue a piece of paper on the back, uh, coffee dyed paper on the back, and then when they flip it up, it's an extra writing spot for them. So there's another one of similar size. And like I said, each, each package is different and each package is priced according to what is in it. Then each pack contains these little sample and they vary in size and colors as well. And again, they have that backing on. But what an awesome, like what an awesome fabric clip. Or like I said, make little snippets out of them. I'm sure you can find many, many uses for them. And here's another one, and it just flips up. So I've, I've measured kind of what, what you can cut 
there. And again, all the measurements are approximate. And the colors may vary a little bit from what you see on, on, the, cam on, on the pictures, just based on photography. And each kit, I've also thrown in some samples of some leather pieces that I have and some upholstery pieces. So you'll also get those to play with. And each kit is different. I just took one of the kits out of their envelopes and um, just for us to look at. So that's in my Etsy shop. And again, it's Dairy Barn Art. Then I've made some slotted pocket envelopes. Oops. And these are just the leftovers that I didn't package up. And these are great. Um, they're very similar to the Tim Holtz, but not quite the same. Sorry, I'm just folding some paper here, just to give you an idea of what the size is. So they fit nicely on a journal page. Um, and then you would just glue here, 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 and. I probably would glue the top just to give it that stability. And then you've got all these opportunities to add things. And then you've also got a little piece you can add at the bottom if you choose. All of these are double sided. So, and they come, each pack is, um, I've got two different kinds of packs. I've got my neutral packs, which have like, these are just the leftovers. There's nicer ones in some of the packs. And again, if you don't like the front, you've got the back on almost all of them. And then I've got these of the spring ones. And there's only, I think, four different papers in the spring one. That one. And I might be out of the other one. No, oh, this one here. So again, um... They're the same size. They fit nicely on a journal page. They could be put in a corner too if you choose. Um, you've also got these that you can put on the front down here. Each of these is also reversible. So you can use either side depending on what you like. So I've got a few of those in my shop, not a whole lot, but a few. And if they are, if they do sell, I will definitely make more. And I've got a few more ideas in my head of different ways to do them as well. So then I've got some vintage um, piano roll paper and it's all packaged up. There's at least 10 packages. They're about eight and a half by 11. Um, just standard um, cardstock size, paper size. There's some little scraps thrown in almost all the packs. Um, I throw some extras in, especially if I accidentally tore, depending on where the hole is. Um, sometimes when you cut it, it it's kind of looks like a tear, but it's actually just that hole. So like I said, there's at least 10 in here, but there's always more. And there's a few different things you can do with them. This is something I did for a Christmas book I'm working on, is I glued it to pink cardstock. And then I made it into an envelope. And then I, I glued, or actually I glued the, the fabric in as well on the inside of my pocket. And then I just jazzed it up by adding glitter and um, embossing powder and real glitzy for Christmas but that's one idea and you can take it from there like you can glue it onto any of your papers on your digital papers too if you want it thinner and then make tags do whatever you want just just kind of need to stabilize that a bit if you're doing that another thing I've done is I've taken it and I've punched it with my punch and I've stamped it and then I I embossed it and that gives it that little more stability. But it also has that kind of translucent look. And then I've taken one and I've made a little cluster with it and um, glued it on and then I've added a bead from my um, bead dollar bead box subscription that I just started. And like I said with that video is you don't have to be doing jewelry to enjoy this subscription. You can use these for your dangles. Like these are all beads that came in that this month's subscription. So anyway, there's the piano paper. I, I have a few in my shop. I haven't put a whole lot in, but I also um, can add more 
if, if need be, if I run out. Then I've done a package of guy, oops, sorry about that, guy themed papers. I've just thrown that in. And there are at least 25, usually more, pages in, in this kit. And I've taken some pages out of Hardy Boys books. Um, I believe this is Hello Yellow, Hello, no, Old Yeller. <laughs> oh boy, Winona. And then the, these are just some um, fix-it books um, from, I think, the late 60s, early 70s. And they're just all, they're all different. I've just grabbed different pages out of each book. But if you're doing a guy-themed book, it's kind of neat to have, you know, just some different pages. And then again, there's more of those. Here's a car one. And then I've taken a few uh, maps, which is kind of ironic when you think of it, because when you travel, you know, I, I it's stereotyping, but um, how men feel about maps. And then this was a fix it, I think a garage plan book that I found. And then just another map. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember how many I've put in in my shop. But again, if they happen to go, I can definitely add more. I'm getting excited because I'm getting to my digitals. I have one more physical item. And I haven't even got this in my Etsy shop. But I will get it in before this goes up. Um, it's a bundle of 40 pages of... Um, book pages from the turn of the century and not this century the turn of the last century I have um, a dictionary the latest date I can find on it was 1863 in this book and really the pages are they're brittle but they're beautiful so you'll get 10 pages from this dictionary and I just thought I would show you a picture that was on the front this is the editorial room. It's it's drawn, uh, but it's the editorial room of the standard dictionary. And I don't see any women. All I see is men. But anyway, that's a standard of the time. That was in the front of the book. Then you'll also get 10 pages out of this dictionary, which is the newest date I can find is 1903. These pages are absolutely lovely, but they're all, they're very brittle, but they'd be awesome in collage or again, backed with another piece of paper, glued onto another piece of paper. They'd be awesome in your journal. You could fold them in half and I just wouldn't do it without stabilizing them some way because like they're over a hundred years old, so... Then I have this set of encyclopedias, the Book of Knowledge, and I think the newest date in this one is 1909. So I'm going to take pages, uh, 10 pages out of this book as well. I have a few of these. So you'll get 10 random pages out of that. And then I have the girls, I have a couple of the girls' own annual. And I gain will be um, 10 pages out of this book. These are a little, they have a, a little, not gloss, but they're definitely not um, flat matte. And this is, what did I see in here? I'm sure this is in the 1800s. Um, but I will definitely put the date if I find one on um, on my Etsy, on my Etsy listing. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I should have looked before. I thought I saw it. Maybe it was the other book that I saw it right away when I looked at it. But there's patterns. There, there are um, articles out of a magazine, I believe. And then at the end of the year, they bind it into a book. Or they bound it into a book. I don't believe they do it anymore. But anyway, I'll find a date on this and I'll put it on. So you'll get 10 pages out of each of those books that I've shown you for a total of 40 pages. And um, 
that'll be up in my Etsy shop right away. I'll probably only put 10 up to begin with, and then if they sell, I'll put more up. Then off onto my digi digital kit. I did a bird journal. It was my first journal I ever did, and it's also in my Etsy shop. And I made up a digi of um, inspirational bird quotes. And it's one page, and it's got all... Um, all the different quotes that I used in that journal. So it's only it's only this page of quotes, but I've digitally altered them. So you have many, many pages to choose from in your journal. And I hope that this is showing the full page. I'm actually gonna turn it sideways so you can see. See the texture in there? And each page is a different color or different effects. And I believe there's over 20 of these different images. I'm not the best at doing videos. I really need to do some work on this. I struggle to see what's in my camera. And then these are a different background. And again, just different colors. But they're all just that original sheet. And you'll get that original sheet in the download. It'll be a PDF. But if you have a favorite background paper, digital paper that you want to print them on, you can print that paper out first and then put paper back in and then print the PDF, the white PDF, and then you can have it any color, any kind of paper that you want. So there's a few more here. I'm just going to leave those because my other digi, digi kits are very similar to this. So I have just blank background pages, and the blank background pages all have texture. It's from an original, oh, that's in the way. It's from an original, um, I tea dyed some paper. I don't know how to, yeah. So you've got that texture in each one, and this one is called, I believe it, my tea dyed fun backgrounds one, I believe. And there's, oh, I think, 33, if I remember, different pages in here. So you can use these for collage. You can use these for the backs of your tags because they, they're light enough that, or some of them are light enough that you can still write on them. Um, you can use them on the backs of your pages in your journals. Like look at this one in the, the lavenders. It's just deeper at the ends. Let's see where I can get that. So that's probably the best place to show them. This one's got a little more red in it. Again, very beautiful. And then for your shabby chic, you've got pink. And all with that texture. I couldn't choose. I really had a hard time eliminating pages because I love them all. But your files can only be so big to send up to Etsy. So I had to eliminate them. This one here looks totally different. It's like a blizzard almost, but it's got that um, radiate. It's radiating like a light from the center of the pic of the page. And here's a nice blue one. This one's kind of got more green hues in it. So as you can see. Lots of opportunity to do different things with these. And again, if you have a favorite printed um, digi that's basically black and white, you can again print this out first and then print your, your other digi on top. Now we're getting to the real grungy ones. Look at how yummy that is. That'd be awesome on collage. This one's not quite so grungy. And then we've got more that look like kind of tea dyed. That's a little more like coffee dyed. And another one. 
Like some of them just vary a little bit. But I thought, you know what, if you're getting, if you're sending it out, send as many as you can. Because you don't have to print them all at the same time. You can just choose which one you want and print that out. But it sure gives you a lot of opportunities. And then there's the other one. And this one. And I think the last few here are the really dark ones. And these were printed on plain printer paper. Um, just run through my HP printer. I would have done them on my Epson because my Epson is an eco tank, but it's heads need cleaning, print heads need cleaning. I haven't taken the time. This one's gray, but it's, you can't see it on the camera, but it's got quite a blue undertone. And then this brown one. I just love the way the light just shines in areas and other areas are dark. And then finally, this one's more um, of a purpley kind of tone. Eggplant, I think. Okay, so that's the background number one. And as I progress, each digi kit gets a bit bigger. So this is background number two. And this one really has a lot of texture on some of the pages. And again, I took this from an original piece that I tea dyed. And then I digitally altered the pages. And I, this one, I want to say has over 40 pages in it. I'm pretty sure. But the listing tells you how many pages you're getting. I think the pictures on my listing are pretty good. I think they give you a really good idea of the colors. But this kit, you can use a page in it for almost any any journal you're doing because there's all different colors. It could be a page in your journal. You could print it double-sided and it could be an awesome page in your journal. This one's got some yellows and peachy tones to it. This again is a little bit on the purpley side. And this is another one of those that looks like a blizzard. Just a little different than the last one. And this one's got a little bit of red peeking through the edges. And then this grungy one, I love it. Okay, and that one. Now I've been working on this <laughs> for three months. I've worked in, on computers my whole life and um, I can't believe it took me three months to do this. Isn't that beautiful? But what I'm getting at, I guess, is I've got another digital of some of my artwork that I'm working on, but I want a computer, um, alter it too on the computer. So might be three months. Who knows? I work as I can. I probably have about four good hours a day that I can work. And um, there's so much else to do as well. Like you got to have meals and then you got to clean up and... So I told myself when I started this channel that um, I wasn't going to stress myself out. I would really like to have success in my Etsy shop. And I know that's going to take time. But I want this to be fun. So I may be slow. I may be slower than most people at getting new listings up. So please be patient. And uh, maybe if you could like or favorite I'm not remember the terminology in Etsy um, my shop so that you're notified when I have new listings this is very almost a minty green with like the tea on top of it and if you could if you if you like my video um, if you could subscribe and like it I would appreciate that too 
I am trying to get this going as a, as a business for me because I am disabled and on limited income right now. But again, I can only do what I can do. So there's that. And that. We've got just a few more. Did I show you all the grungy ones out of this? I must be missing a few, I think. Oh, I showed the grungy ones at first. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, if you've made it to the end with me, I really appreciate it. And again, um, check out my Etsy shop. I don't have a lot on it. And it's... Um, Free shipping for all orders over $50 Canadian, and I don't know what the conversion is for U.S. Um, so if you're interested in some of those packs that the shipping is a fortune, uh, maybe you can combine a couple and, uh, and then the shipping would be free. Anyway, thank you and have an awesome day, and I will see you maybe in a few days. Thanks. Bye-bye.